So for this week's video, I'm going to continue on with my Java web browser I'm making. I do have other projects that are in the works. They're just not quite at a state where I can make videos on it. So for the meantime, we are going to let this roll and keep working on this because I've actually been enjoying it a lot. And it's been uh, neat and interesting to play around with it and uh, figure things out. And uh, I hopefully you guys have enjoyed the same. So for this video, I started off by taking what we had. And the first step I need to do was basically to add some very basic CSS. So I did have a very uh, simple page I was using for reference to basically make sure I was getting on the right track with rendering, getting all that working. But the first thing you do in order to get the rendering actually looking right is CSS because all browsers have very basic default CSS applied to each of the certain tags. So the first step was actually just to build up this giant list of the tags and their default CSS that way, when I rendered it, uh, basically with my existing page, which is straight uh, HTML, there's actually no CSS uh, that's I did uh, personally. All the CSS is coming just from the browser as is. So the first thing we would do was to build up a giant list of all the CSS for each of the tags and start to build up the defaults for each of the CSS uh, values. Uh, I ended up making the entire list for all the tags and their de default CSS values. Probably wasn't quite necessary. I could have just stuck with what I had on my uh, my my basic page I was using to test, but uh, I just went ahead and did all of them because I just did. I didn't do all of the default CSS values though. Uh, those I just did what I needed to get by, and actually did a little more I needed. Didn't really need much of them, but um, at any rate, I did those, and the code is definitely it's the one giant block of code in one of the classes I have. Um, for now, it's fine. Uh, down the line, definitely would want to uh, file this in some way or just kind of offload this and not have this be one giant block of code. But uh, for the meantime, it does work and all that. And so once I had gotten that done, the next step was to actually render some HTML uh, tags, actually render it in the J uh, JavaFX uh, kind of document frame we have going and go from there. So. Uh, in the end, I did get it working, and I got the very basic page looking like this. Uh, note not, the font isn't quite there, but that was where I first started with the code. So the next step was to actually connect the two together. I had the page rendering, I had the CSS more or less in code. Now I try to connect them together, that way the rendering of the elements actually use the CSS. And this was a little more uh, difficult than it might seem. Uh, the biggest issue was the fact that the CSS has shorthands for stuff, so uh, margin, the margin CSS, it can represent the top, bottom, left, and right all in one, it's just a shorthand version. You can literally just say margin 8, and it applies an 8 margin to the left, top, bottom, and right uh, margins. So I had to kind of take those shorthands and break them out into the respective uh, parts, that way I could support um, a very basic of the loading of a parent CSS or inheriting CSS and all that. So the CSS turned to be a little bit difficult. I actually took a break for a while and went and played some hockey and came back and I had thought about it for a while how exactly I wanted the code structure to be so that way there was a tree of the sorts that way I could get the CSS of each of the parents, get the sort of inheritance that I needed, and also render out the CSS in a clean way that preserve the structure of the CSS, that way I wasn't really removing the margin 8, uh, but I was still breaking that margin 8 out into its respective bits and allowing for kind of the overrides necessary uh, in the margin and such. In the end, I did get it all rendering, I did get all the CSS working for this page. There still is a lot of CSS to go, uh, a lot of the shorthand breaking out to longhands. Uh, for this one, I only did the font and the margin, I only broke out the font and margin to shorthands into their respective uh, kind of longer CSS properties. There are a lot more to do, there's a lot more CSS and all the kind of clean up and deal with for rendering. But in the meantime, getting this small subset to work should be good enough to suffice uh, what I want to do for today. And this also allows me to get most of the base code for all this working. That way, down the line, when I want to add more of the CSS uh, breakouts and all this, uh, it's mainly done and it's all been kind of done for the first time. And it won't be uh, as long of a process the second time around. <laughs>
So in the end, as you can see, I finally got the CSS more or less matching up. As you can see, there's Chrome on the left, and this is my browser on the right. They look very similar. They're not quite perfect. Uh, actually, the font is off. I did fix this uh, a little bit, but uh, they are very close. Obviously, you're going to have a small amounts of differences in the paddings and the pixel precisions, but uh, more or less, especially when I fix the text, they actually look very similar, just a small amount of margin difference. And as you can see here, this is actually the correct font, the same that is on Chrome. It does look better. I don't actually compare it to Chrome again, but uh, I'll take my word for it that it looks better. Uh, I did end up also fixing another bug with the pages re-rendering. It doesn't uh, render the text on top of each other. It kind of clears everything out. Here's an example of me actually loading up a Chrome page, or not Chrome page, a Google page, so Google search. It does not look good at all, but as we expected, I don't have all CSS implemented. I don't have any scripts implemented. I don't have any uh, external CSS uh, implemented. But the point of this is to show you that we are making progress. This doesn't look atrocious. It does look bad. But uh, in terms of what it could look like, it's actually a decent win. As you can see here, the biggest thing is the font all looks right. Uh, there is the margins of obviously don't look correct, but uh, all this is to show is that we are making progress and I am getting there. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I will keep working on this uh, and making slow progress uh, as we go through and learning more. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.